We got just no notice got the this. committee sucked like literally seconds like, ago. Come on, it's man. It's the same thing. So. No, no, it's not. Yes, this it is. is absolute crap. Heated moments at the Capitol over a controversial election regulation bill. Representative Briscoe Kane pushed Senate Bill 7 out of committee without a public hearing. Kane used an unusual move Thursday morning, submitting a committee substitute for SB 7 that made the language identical to House Bill 6. That bill already passed out of committee, but also inspired 22 hours of testimony. It would add restrictions on how counties can distribute vote by mail applications, relax restrictions on partisan poll watchers, and tighten rules on people assisting voters. Kane said because of his substitute, the committee could vote without holding a public hearing. Several lawmakers immediately objected to Kane's move, saying they did not have a chance to read the latest version of the bill, which had been dropped off minutes before. For all the talk we've heard of election integrity and upholding the public's trust, why would we go about it in this way that would cause our constituents to question our integrity and the integrity of the legislative process? We cannot do this in the dark. After the exchange, Representative Kane postponed the vote until Thursday evening, but Democrats could not block the move that night. The modified version of Senate Bill 7 passed on a party line vote. It now goes to the full House. Most Texans do not believe that the state's election system is racially biased. A new poll from the Texas Politics Project and the Texas Tribune asked voters if they think the election system discriminates against racial and ethnic minorities. You can see here that more than a third said yes, but more than half said no. The poll also gives insight into how Texans view some of the specific proposals being considered by state lawmakers. Voters are almost equally divided on whether the state should ban drive through locations for voting. 44% support the idea, 47 oppose the ban. More than half of Texans polled say they want to prohibit counties from sending vote-by-mail applications to voters who have not requested them. Just over a third of voters oppose it. And close to half of Texans polled said they're against a ban on counties offering more than 12 hours a day of early voting. Just over a third of voters say they'd support that restriction. Some Texas lawmakers want to make brain research a priority, but it comes with a big price tag. Why voters may soon decide whether it's worth the cost. And once you're fully vaccinated, you can go without a mask when you're outside. COVID cases are dropping and so are some restrictions, but do Texans feel safe? We'll look at new polling that shows what activities people feel comfortable doing and what still causes concerns.